Yeah, this is entertainment, everybody. From Hollywood, California, Meltdown Comics, Harmontown is now in session. Let's welcome Spencer Crittenden into the stage, shall we? And the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon! There's, a, there's kind of a shower effect when you... I, I felt like a good singer, and then the music went, whoop, nope, bad singer. <laughs> like when you're in your car, and you're like, I'm a Bee Gees. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's go back a bit. I'll leave the plane. Harmonize. This show already dedicated to Glenn Fry. Uh, uh, Glenn we, Fry? We, yeah, we pre-dedicate that one to Eagles uh, Glenn, singer and guitar player Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry died. Why is it? Why do I always? I guess it's stage fright. Why, why I always need the? Uh, is the microphone too far forward? I thought you it's guys liked diff. it back a little bit. <laughs> is director Chris Peruff back there? Is he? Good for camera. It's, back, it's good for camera if it's back a little bit. Yeah, we don't care about you guys. We just want to milk your laughs, your, your, your presence. This feels better because this feels like yeah. the way it's always been. Yeah. yeah like Colloquially, this. backstage with the crew, we call you the aphids. Uh, it's a reference to those ants that milk. They milk, they milk aphids. I thought we called them the day sleepers. The day sleepers. Wait, they're the vampires? <laughs> No, no, they're just they're just lazy. <laughs> um, so there was a, remember we talked in Miami, I uh, think, before the guy got punched in the face, and oh dear okay. God. we were talking a little bit about, and I'm upset. It's not because of the it's it's it, the, the transgender. I still don't know if you call it a movement. I think that sounds a little weird. It sounds like, like because it's a, it's a, whatever the tra- transgender thing that's happening. Oh, the our new newfound awareness of it. It 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 it, it, it ra- has raised this very interesting question. That's just sort of on a fundamental level about bathroom dichotomy. Like like, what are we doing? What have oh, we been doing? Right. I think a very well intended thing in the in the past in the days of long ago when bathrooms were just maybe like bushes or caves. Like maybe there probably was a great progressive thought behind like oh ladies go over there and the fellas go over there. But it's not as complicated as just tearing down that wall because men are pigs and sometimes women too like there's different there are just differences but there's different things that happen in men's rooms and women's rooms the 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 big thing that you brought up i gotta say i was wrong about that i looked it up way off what i said i i told you i said on this very stage to millions of unsuspecting people that single user stalls end up screwing women over but it turns out single user stalls are the best way to uh push out and equalize wait times and wait times are truly the commodity of the bathroom mm. okay well I kind of I wait, wait, I, I, I'm sorry hang on Dan I, I remember I, I just listened to that Miami episode today you, you're saying well you said the last that time was that women take longer biologically and that's why that's yes which is true it is true to that end that has only affected non-single user genderless bathrooms that's only affected the current bathroom paradigm well, let me cut. Let me, let, you guys, you got to look up potty parody. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me cut to my chase because I thought I was Go kind of a genius it. getting out of the shower today. You I, still I, I are. Took a you still today. are. Because uh, so, well, actually, I wasn't a genius. I ripped this off. Somebody on Twitter said this, <laughs> the, 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 and they mentioned your name because they said the discussion you guys were having, and they said do do have multiple bathrooms, but but make them like. L- long and short as term- in terms of like the time you're going to take right like yeah. like are you making a number one or a number two kind of or or are you are you making a number two and or female <laughs> it's, you know women don't want to be lumped in with shitting men um, 
But I was say, I'd say like if you if you if you if you look at it more like 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 lanes on a freeway, okay? There's there's separation on the freeway that when people don't observe it, shit gets fucked up and you get mad at them because they don't know how to drive right. You know, what if we had like two or even three bathrooms at the places, the bigger the place, add more lanes. It's like fast lane, passing lane, you know, like I just have to fucking, I'm not even going to wash my hands. Wait, Dan, are you, I'm going to piss I, my pants. I just need a place to do it while I are you saying, check my text. I, well, well, we'll get back to you not washing your hands after. No, no, no. I, I always uh, wash my hands. I was making a joke. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you saying the lane choice is on the door out front of the bathroom? Or? Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like slow and fast. Like, right. are you going to take a long time? Go, Peter, go in here. So if you're pooping. And, and so I know, and then I was toweling off, and I was like, oh, that won't work, because in a crowded situation, then people that are backed up in the uh, slow lane, they're going to start going into the fast lane. But no, there will be shame involved in that. <laughs> and the only, just as on the freeway, because you, like, you'll go in, and, you'll, 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 and, and there will be a line forming outside the fast toilet which shouldn't be happening, and you'll be a piece of shit when you come out. And the song, the song that will play when you leave there, be, don't poop in the fast lane. I'd say Show brought to you by Glenn Fry, everybody. <laughs> and then there will be arguments. People, like a guy will come out, and everyone will start booing him, and he'll go, I'm a fast shitter. <laughs> and they said, no, you're yeah, not. But what, 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 what is the cutoff point for what is fast and what is slow? Uh, well, that's, I mean, what there is the There should be cutoff? a big red digital clock right in the door. <laughs> With like a spring-loaded like toilet freeways. seat. Freeways. There's a speed limit. You get ejected out of the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a fine. There's yeah. a speed limit. Right. Which, what's the cutoff for uh, freeways? Why, why, when do you get to go in the fast lane? A cop won't answer that question because he can't technically tell you to speed. But the truth is, if you're trying to get to work really fast, you're supposed to go around people. <laughs> it's called the fast lane. If we all went 55, there wouldn't be a fucking fast lane. <laughs> Right. It's called the fast lane. But there's a limit to the speed in that lane. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and so everyone's, when everyone's driving 35 on the freeway, that's when the city, that's why they built that lane. It's for the days when everyone's just feeling leisurely. <laughs> and driving under the speed limit. And you want to go 55 and a half miles an hour. And you, so that's what this right, lane so, is for. So, so d draw me. No, a, it's for going uh, 70. Uh, uh, and there could be a 55 of shitting. I got you. Yeah. So, so, and then there could be a Sammy Hagar of shitting who'd be like, fuck you! Don't tell me what to do! I like to read a book when I do it! I check my tweets! I get on Facebook, too! I can't shit! In less than an hour! And there's like a judge like with her horn-rimmed glasses and she takes him off and starts dancing. <laughs> She's like, I like this guy. He fucking shits like a so, fucking can, like molasses. Can, can, can you can you draw me up like on a grid D and D Pathfinder map of what you would like? like you go to an airport and you go to an airport and you have to <laughs> you have to relieve yourself. Uh, you come across how many doors and what do, what do those doors say? Or have you got that far? I have got. They say. They say, uh, uh, well, I was, uh, when I was getting out of the shower, it was just like long and short or like, uh, or yeah, no, well, not number two and number one. But there's, there are other factors, but let's get to those factors by, as Spencer says, the, the big key issue, first of all, is wait time, right? Yeah, That's man. the tyranny of bathrooms. So solve that, and then we can get into, maybe we start to evolve a whole fucking culture about peeing and washing your hands and pooping and lighting matches. Like, oh my God, can you imagine if, if, if all of this emphasis we put on consideration, we didn't then understand? Cut by going in the bathroom and wailing all over the walls because we think everyone else is secretly a racist animal and like 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 and, and, and we hate them and we don't want to touch the same toilet seat as them and, and we're electing a fascist and we're like 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 oh don't, don't forget to keep your elbows off the table we're fucking liars like let's look where we shit we should make it fucking scientific it should you should feel like a clone when you D poop don't you feel you should feel like a naughty clone like 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 whose scientists are mad at them and testing them and like you should you should fucking like it's a sanitary business how do you think babies feel when they shit they're, they're, they can't do anything about it they're like oh shit i fucked up like 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 but you know you there should there should be luxury there should be talcum there should be there should be love and squeezing and 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 motorboats i don't what, what i don't Wait. know Razzleberries? Oh, okay. You can't motorboat a baby. That's the bit. Babies ain't got no titties. 
dear, dear, dear penthouse. <laughs> I never, I, I never thought I'd be writing one of these letters. <laughs> I work at a large Home Depot. I said it, Home Depot. I work at Home Depot. <laughs> And in walked this woman with a baby that wouldn't quit. <laughs> I knew I had to motorboat it. Uh, all right. So uh, it's, uh, it's time for a new segment. Uh, this is called uh, uh, Paragraphs That I... Se- sentences I pull from newspaper articles uh, and read out, out, of, out of context because uh, uh, it's funny. I think I think Jay Leno does this. <laughs> hey, oh, sometimes when you read news, you, you, you get to a sentence that makes you realize you're 43 in a world being taken over by children that don't know how to put a thought together. Uh, okay, just a little article about uh, Ben Carson losing his. Uh, he's, a, he's he's always been a conservative uh, fella, but he was also like a a hometown hero to a lot of uh, uh, his his own. I don't know personal kind of like I can't even remember where he's from and what he. But he was like you know he did he did good stuff like he's uh, from he's from Nappy Town. Uh, he's, he's from he, Nappy Town. Sleepy Town. He always looks like he's gonna take a little. Nap. Oh, I don't. It's, <laughs> He, he, he always looks like he just had a, a turkey sandwich and a glass of warm milk. Uh, well, here's a, this he is looks just, like me after a fight. If, if I did nine yoga classes, so that's, what, that's, that, that, that's how alert he looks. This is, this is out of a, uh, a Washington Post article about Ben Carson. Um, and it did, the headline did involve uh, his blackness. But I still think this is a weird sentence. Uh, Carson has been a black icon since 1987 when he became the first person to successfully separate twins conjoined at the backs of their heads. While being black. Black people loved that shit. (laughs) You know that stereotype of the black lady in the operating room? Like... Get those babies disconnected. <laughs> Ma'am. Yes. We're going to have to ask you to stop yelling out during your surgery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I, thought, I, I meant to say sleepy town first. I said nappy town, and people thought I meant nappy like nappy hair. Oh, God. I'm proud to say you just put that in my head. Well, I'm, very, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> No, half of this millennial crowd knew exactly what uh, what I'm saying right now. They they, they heard that. Uh, who knows with them? If I didn't, if it didn't trip my wires, I mean that's the thing. It's we're gonna we're this is gonna be a theme tonight because we're gonna have a fellow up here that we've never met before uh, on the show. You and I have met him, but we're gonna we're gonna be talking about the realm of the uncomfortably surfacey right. and how deep it goes. We have Dr. Ben Carson here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, the. Uh, uh, I, I was, and one of the themes that I'd like to talk about is the is the sometimes damaging like thing. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm stealing this from somebody clever that that, that actually coined it. But I think it's a really apt. Um, I mean, I read it somewhere, or heard it somewhere. A, a, a penny saved is a penny <laughs> earned. The, uh, the 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 sort of the new the modern um, kind of code of. Of of uh, of I don't know what to call it political correctness like has all these negative connotations with the sort of like the if you could come up with like a golden rule of of sort of social etiquette cl- political cultural etiquette uh, uh, the rule has become whoever smelt it dealt it <laughs> so in other words like like the, the the if you keep your mouth shut like you stand tactically the highest percentage chance of not being uh, offensive which is i think a very dangerous thing because as we can see in our culture you kind of want the idiots talking as loudly as possible like like it's better than them slinking around in the shadows yeah. and then popping up all of a sudden and becoming becoming the front runner for one of our two uh, political parties yeah i would like if that guy well it's a, he's a he is a fucking like yeah what what, what should we have done given him a reality show? Show? Yeah, we already did. We gave like, him thirty reality shows. He, yeah, I know. He was, I, he was good at all of them. He's definitely a fucking anomaly. Like, 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 like. 
he himself is a like like he should be. I don't know. Yeah, oh. you, you know what? I mean, there's a lot of reasons to not like Donald Trump. Uh, here's one of my top thirty. Uh, he says very too much. It's like a, 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 you know, I think the Mexicans are very, very, you know, I think they're very good people, but they're very, you know, corrupt, and they're, 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 our economy is very, very good. But I think that people very like me. They very, 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 very like me. I was like, are, are you like a, a kid trying to air out your ten thousand word book report? <laughs> By, by adding more varies <laughs> and reallys into it, they had a, they had an article. It was the like the seventy six campaign promises that we've been able to you know the, glean from what he's said so far. And it's re- it's really it's very very terrifying. <laughs> it's really because really like, we really need, we need a very very big wall, and, and then I, I'm going to bomb ISIS, and I'm going to do it by having very very good generals. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna and, and they're going to make really good bombs, the best ever. Yeah. Like he sounds like a six year old. These bombs. <laughs> These bombs are going to be so good, you're going to, you're going to, your heads are going to spin. It, I mean, they'll be blown off. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, your heads will be blown off. But yeah. as they're flying off of your body, your heads are going to spin on how good these bombs are. Yeah. And I want, I want to clarify something. I, ju- I just heard myself say something that, that, that might have been offensive to, to six-year-olds because I... <laughs> Dan, it's true. It, like, like, it's too late, Dan. You've been coming down on six-year-olds. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want six year olds like like to listen to this podcast. They shouldn't yet. But but I but I, I really mean this. I like most of them and he he he's like a shitty six year old. Like that's that's what I just wanted to clarify that. He, oh, okay. He's like a six year old that like you go to like a, a family like Christmas and like he's the one like little cousin that's like you're playing some game and everybody's like, This is so cool, we made up this game and then he's always the one that's like 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 if you're playing like uh let's shoot missiles with these G.I. Joe things, he's like, Now I'm shooting a missile so that blows up every plane in the whole room, no matter where you try to hide. Infinity, yeah. infinity. I was like, you, you can't, you can't just say that. You just said something, loser. I think there's a conflict of interest. Why are you even moderating this uh, GI Joe? There, there's a word for that, and it's a word that applies, I think, for almost, almost all of them. With a, maybe one or two exceptions, it's petulance, and it's, and, and the political discourse is. Petulant children level of fucking discourse. It's they're really... all they're all seventy, and they're all like like calling each other old, and they're all talking about nine eleven like they like it's their friend, and uh, like yeah, they're all pieces of shit, and they're all born rich, and they can all take a f- fuck fly. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do in the middle of that sound. So I know I know the phrase "flying fuck." I you were trying. I, I, was, to be- I was like, you know what, Harmon, you can beat that. <laughs> <laughs> they could take a first class flight flight fuck <laughs> on fucking mint, jet blue mint, jet blue mint. I tried. We we flew fucking first class jet blue, which is nice. You sit in these little egg pods, and it seems really groovy. And then I went down into the like the re- recline mode, but you can't just rock your seat back. You can't just go like like lean back. The whole thing has to go, and your legs come out into this like like this whole long bed frame kind of thing. But at one point, it was very clear to me that my legs were not going to get any farther than the wall in front. And now I'm being like. Star Wars uh, 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 trash compactor. See, 3 bo 3 bo where can he be? Where can he be? And I'm, being, I, I'm I, so I, distracted. I, I had Jeff Fort. What happened? I can't. This is the perfect time to bring out our guests. Like, like, like right at the height of you complaining about your leg room. Everybody. <laughs> to please, that was the worst time. To, it's the worst time, Dan. <laughs> please, this is the worst time to do that. Our, our first, uh, the, the current phrase is a little person. He's an actor. We met him in New York. Colin Buckingham is here. Let's bring him out. Awkward. Yeah, I, there you go. Sweet. That worked perfectly. I mean, What's up, Colin? How you doing? We met uh, at the uh, the CISO launch thing, right? Yeah, yeah. How the, you uh, been? Doing well. How are you doing? Great. Good. Do, do you live out here? Uh, no, I live in, in New York City. All right. What do you think about Jeff's legroom complaints? Um... <laughs> I mean, he, I gets, he gets crunched in the first class, the kid. Yeah. I mean, the fuck you, what is I this? Mean, <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you tried to ambush me with Colin? <laughs> you piece of shit. I mean, <laughs> this is Dan, so ashamed of him noticing things that are different about other people. <laughs> it's just funny. Um, <laughs> you really and, tried to. 
In his defense, though, it like when I was doing the reclining thing, it did like I almost slid down. Yeah, because like, in, into the. It, I, 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 I'm trying to think like yeah. what, that, that had to be designed for this really median. Like height person, like like five foot yeah. eight maybe was the perfect sweet spot. Well, can I that. put in a, a thing? I did have a lot of legroom though. Like, uh, no, like, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, the w- I'm fat, and that's not easy either. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, jet blue first class, I'll go too. As far as as far as how you're treated as a human being, like mm-hmm. so far, it's they've, they've 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 they're new to first class for terrible reasons because the airlines are cartels. Don't get me started. <laughs> are, they are, I'm sorry, the airlines are a cartel. Um, the the that's the important thing about a cartel. It's not plural. Um, otherwise, it would be fucking amazing. Um, it, would be, it would be capitalism. The the uh, uh, the, the, it, the 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 only thing it's the reclining thing for me too for a different reason. The tray table. It doesn't move forward. No. For me, that for I me, the tray table never comes close enough to me. They they ask you they ask you to make a choice. <laughs> I mean, where's my? I have to reach all the way over there for my food. <laughs> well, no wonder you're so thin. No, no, you're making yeah, exactly. <laughs> Food's always all over me. I have to eat it. <laughs> Just to stay clean. I'm like a, a cat. I'm like a cat, and then I get fat. It's it's. I don't know if you know how hard it can be to be I, fat. I I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Colin D- Dan was born uh, six foot two and fat. <laughs> they ask you to make a choice on that airline between. L- sleep mode and the, 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 and just sitting up and hanging out and sitting yeah, up and, and hanging out and, and an electric chair but, or, like upright. But what, you, what yeah. you can't do is 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 a setting that that is you know it's just like I'm I'm sleepy but I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna and I'm gonna nod off while I'm digging for for some minerals <laughs> and I'm gonna wake up and go whoa, whoa, whoa. and then I'm gonna be like oh well placed yeah. torches I'm fine. <laughs> And then, I'm gonna, and then the guy next to me is going to be like, what's he doing? He's like a child. Like, yeah, why don't you watch Avatar a third time? <laughs> Just because it wins an Oscar How long was that cronus. flight? Would you, were, you, were you flying from Dubai? That's, what, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean... <laughs> he watched oh, it a third oh. time on the flight. Yeah, I'm flying. I'm Amelia Earhart. I, uh, I only fly. All right, anyways, welcome, Colin. I'm sorry about, about the way you were brought out. I'm sorry about the way you've been treated since... <laughs> Uh, 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 do, do, do you like the stool? Is it like? Is yeah, it actually? It, are you doing a bit by using it, or were you? Because I, I uh, was like, no, it, it made it a lot less awkward. So I think. Was... I think. I think Spencer. Spencer <laughs> deserves a little, a, Hi, a little Boy Scout badge for that. Oh, you guys haven't met. How's it going? Spencer was the only one that thought about that because oh, that, wow. that's something that's like, oh, it's it's progress. Just put it out of your mind. Don't think about anything. Don't think yeah. about if a, if a person that's a guest of yours that might yeah. have a need or something. Spencer thinks about it. Spencer. I mean, I didn't think about it at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I just we had uh, Steve Silberman on, and he's. Uh, I mean, he might not be offended by me saying he's a bit rotund, and he had a had a lot of trouble getting on. And so I was like, I don't know, man. These yeah, are some also, crazy. The, these stools, stools are built for like one one butt cheek. If you're yeah. a, if you're a large yeah, but, person like, like, like it was uh, we needed like a little more commodious accommodation <laughs> all right let's start our little person questions yes. with the big one <laughs> the big one yes. uh, who are you voting for <laughs> <laughs> i want to talk about the the phrase little people uh yeah you, you already um, gave me a hint the the yeah i well as as we we talked about a little bit that um it changed in like the past thirty years from midget to dwarf to little person, and it's like going in a direction of trying to say like hey people that are shorter are still people, but I think when you say someone is a little person it it's different than saying someone has dwarfism or something you know right that a and, person with it yeah yeah because it's it's like you're making that their identity. Yeah. You know, you're saying, like, that person is a dwarf. Like, that is all encompassing of his personality or her personality or that kind of thing. And, like, 
how they define themselves as. I always play ball with this stuff yeah. because, well, I mean, it's honestly, I, I got, I'm just a chicken shit socially, so I, I would never, yeah. like, I, I would never deliberately, I, I, I say shit all the time, it makes people upset, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm, it's never like because I'm like, oh, I hope people get really upset. I just, no, it's yeah. just because like <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, the only chance I have of making people like me is to like talk. That's yeah. it. That's, <laughs> like, and, and 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 I know it's like it's like it's like if you were Indiana Jones and you just like you see the poison dart shooters and you're just and it's like a mile and you're just like fuck it like I'm not gonna <laughs> like I, I'll get hit with a couple and yeah. then like I'll try to find an antidote uh, maybe or yeah. I just like maybe maybe there's yeah. a maybe if I just keep running and it's just like the darts are hitting everybody yeah. um, the uh, and then I get to the front and there's the idol and I have a bag of sand and I'm like I'm not gonna weigh it now look I got fucking darts all over me the darts aren't supposed to come out and tell it shut up uh <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what did you design this place? Why didn't you turn it off so I could get the idol? Um, uh, the uh, please rent Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a it's a great film. Um, the God damn it! The um, the the so when I I, re- I don't remember where I was or what year it was when the the little person thing got floated. Yeah. It w- it was like and I was like okay, but it was the same. It was like. The phrase African American, I've always said, is like it really rubs me. Like it's not my job to be rubbed the right way or the wrong way. That's yeah, the thing, and yeah. then I just go like, okay, if that's what we're saying, but I think that's fucking weird yeah. because you're saying that you're in that case. It's like the thing that I think is weird about it is that, it, and I know that what they're doing is they're adding syllables, and I do understand the yeah. because it's like it's about dehumanization. Like any phrase that you can use to yeah. like make someone sound like not a someone. Yeah, like if you say someone has who has autism, you say, yeah, he's an autistic. Like that sounds like, right. All of a like, sudden, it's I, offensive. That, yeah, then I sound like an asshole. If I yeah, say but that, if you say but, he is autistic, yeah, it's or, like or it's a little autism, like, yeah, like especially. Autism, like, yeah. Do you think that uh, is, is there something new on the horizon that might like that that term will evolve? I've been workshopping a couple <laughs> that I'd like to run by you. Uh, uh, and please, I, can I yeah, tell him that I got the all clear? <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> what a terrible desk piece that would be. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but I don't, I don't, I mean, for me, like, I think sh- in my ideal world, it would be if someone was describing how I looked and like to someone, it would be, he has dwarfism or right. he has achondroplasia, but achondroplasia is a five syllable word and <laughs> we, we don't like saying more than three usually. So you right. know, that's, that's not very likely. Um, yeah, I mean, but, you definitely I mean, need. But, but when but someone it, says like "little person," is that does that something that kind of like no, like it does, automatically it doesn't offend me at all? It's just I don't. It's just not how I. It's like it doesn't right. enter my conscience. It's like that painting how... of a ship in your bathroom <laughs> that you're, every time you pee, you're like, "Well, one of these days." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ruining the house, but why? I'm not even into ships. Like, why, <laughs> who bought this? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's just like like I was saying before. It's not like a. It's not that much of. A prevalent part of my identity where you know it's it's like not something i go out into the world thinking until it's the terms used and i'm like oh right yeah and um but i mean that being said i don't mean to i mean because other people love the term little person that have dwarfism other people are like yes because i mean it's the whole organization little people of america and they do you know amazing things they have scholarships they because like when when a baby has a disability sometimes their parents will give it up for adoption and they like do adoption coordination for people with dwarfism that kind of thing so uh-huh. By saying I'm not a fan of that, it's just me saying that, like, as someone who was in middle school when the, the term was changed from dwarf to middle per, little person, and I was just kind of s- supposed to be like, okay. Right. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that's what I am now. Right, right, uh-huh. right, right, out, right out to the playground with all these Winston Churchills, these yeah. fucking, <laughs> these professional diplomats in the yeah. making uh, that are real good at handling this kind of thing. Well, but, I mean, it's just I didn't get a choice in, like, how right. it's just like that's – what I am now. And Did you I go mean, to uh, like a public school or private school? Uh, yeah, I was in a public middle school. I was actually also the only white kid in my middle school, so that was... <laughs> that was kind of like a huge thing. You fucking... You doubled down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I was the only guy with long curly hair, played the violin, and loved Pokemon yeah. and had yeah. Pokemon t-shirts. Yeah. So I was yeah, just so like... Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, Make, you, making fun of you was like like two, like a fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah you could, they could have just picked violin. You know, yeah, that that no. would have been enough. There, there's like a plethora of things they could have. That's great. You should have also phone. just put a fake unicorn horn. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, just fucked up like six thousand black kids. 
<laughs> like, like who just would go out into the world and go, I, I swear though, I swear. <laughs> 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 I'm not racist, and I'm also, I'm not, I don't believe in magic, but. God damn it. We, but I, uh, guess, I guess that's not, that's not a joke uh, you can even uh, uh, propose in the post-internet era. I was yeah. not, like, 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 I, I, I yeah. I, um, I, was, I was, I went to, I was probably one of, and people think I'm exaggerating when I say this, but I have, I have photos of my eighth grade graduation, like, where it's, mm-hmm. like, c- comically and delightfully uh, uh, evident. I, I was, like, one of, like, I would say, in a 2,000 kid junior high, I was probably, I, th- I think, like, one of 20 uh, white kids. Uh, okay. we, 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 there was a thing in Milwaukee, which is like NPR just talked about being one of the most segregated cities in the in the country. There's just like, this effort to like, like you know, they try to like try to try to desegregate in both directions. Try to like, so they had a computer specialty program. Yeah. They had two Apple two E's in the basement of an inner city uh, <laughs> middle school, so that so that I would come in and 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 learn to you know program in basic like in the in the in the basement of this place and like like you know this like very naive but well intended like attempt to like something's wrong and we got to like take a proactive uh step but i what, what i noticed from that experience is that i as i've said before black people are not racist uh white people are yeah. <laughs> because i then went to a high school where it was flipped and it was like we were fucking horrible and i was like i never got beat up for being white i never got i got i never got like there was never any jokes there was never any dehumanization at all it was yeah. never nobody like made me nobody like wanted to party with me yeah. like <laughs> i was a nerd but I was I did not I, I was no, not yeah. like I did not feel fucking inhibited or anything like that. No. I, this is a fucking. I, where where a, was I, your school, Colin? What, what um, part of the country? It was in uh, Southern Maryland, like near DC area. Was it was it like was it rough? Was it was it fun uh, for you or bad or is it? It wasn't fun. <laughs> I mean, the you know the aforementioned Pokemon and violin kind of <laughs> saw to that, but um, <laughs> it was. I mean, like, I, like when you're saying you like you didn't get bullied for being white, like I never got really bullied, but I did get like kids would accuse me of like getting favoritism or something, right? Because, um, you know, like the teacher was white and I was white, and then there was, you know, like I I would do my work sometimes, and then like other kids would do their work too, but then like they, I don't know, it was, but I mean. That's not. I realize that sounds like the most elitist thing to say. Like I was accused of favoritism. For no, being I mean right. that's. That, <laughs> do, I, do, you I, think, I, do you think it actually could have, in maybe some even tiny way, white privilege, or no? Like that was just. Like, I mean, if the teacher, I, was I, white I, for I didn't sure. know enough about. It, and right. my memories of that time are. Because that would be amazing like if that, that that's 12. how strong white privilege runs. That, like, I mean, it may dude, well be. You, I don't it know. Is. It does. It does. White people yeah. are fucking racist. That's what yeah. we're good at. Like, yeah, we're yeah. really good at it. We're yeah. naturally. We, we have, have a, a gift practice. for racism. <laughs> I know. It's like, 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 like I don't know. I, 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 I make that joke all the time, but it's like, I, I don't think it's genetic, but I think it's fucking really, really strong, the momentum, because I have been in, in, I've observed these situations in a pre-internet world, so now there's a whole new generation, but at this moment, there's, you know that this shit to that toxic like still yeah. is has tendrils even though we're now all talking to each other and sharing stories and everything's very verbose but like in my growing up I saw every kind of configuration you could see and I remember noticing I was like that that guy is being really mean to that guy like this person has all the power and there and and the reverse of it like I had in that in that school I mentioned like all of my teachers were black and I felt the I felt the the reverse like yeah. uh thing and i was i was like good like i deserve it like, yeah. i was like i was like that self-loathing already yeah. as a kid i was just like i get it man i'm yeah. surrounded by kids who are there's fucking like this shitty like they're they're 12 years old and they're writing like uh with, on, with magic marker like they're they're in, being indoctrinated we all were into like yeah. gang culture like i knew how to beat box by uh, 11 years old and because and i knew how to like write the right gang signs and stuff and it was like this if you're a teacher and you've bothered to like dedicate your life to like molding minds and you see that happening on the way out the door of your school you're gonna get mad and you're going you're only human too so when the white kid raises his hand for every question you're gonna start treating him like a piece of shit and i was like, yeah. like 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 and being like why don't you fucking cool it nerd yeah. and like 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 like, like yeah. to, to hit the showers if I, like 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 see if I can work some magic yeah. here and I was like I was like yeah I get it I get it I've seen enough yeah. movies about this shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I just wouldn't raise my hand I I just like I just 
And well, I mean, also, I didn't like putting attention on myself to begin with, because I mean, when when I'd like, some from about six through I'd say probably fourteen when I started going to high school, um, you know, it was like, and I didn't realize this because as a kid you're just kind of focused on yourself. But I mean, everyone gets bullied and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But for me, it seemed like disproportionate, right? You know, because like that's it, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys can't handle that, I, uh, you're gonna hate what he's about to say. <laughs> <laughs> the bullying was disproportionate. No, but you said yourself. You said you said like you always felt like uh, like there was there was favoritism, but but or, 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 or accusations or suspicions of favoritism, and you said you didn't actually get bullied. So like the exp- well, like, I mean, like like I was I was bullied like not. Not for being white, just like for being short. Right. Like that was, you know, because I mean, I look different. People don't like difference when there had to be jokes and, behind your back. and, oh, yeah. and behind I mean, your I back never works. Them. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I mean, they weren't clever. No. <laughs> they were just like pointing out, like that, like literally, just like you're short, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, like I, it's like your head's large. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, my it's, brain is. Just, Bigger than yours. <laughs> if, 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 if your brain was my size, you wouldn't be saying that bullshit. <laughs> now, so so then that takes us to your choice to become an actor. <laughs> yeah, stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Hitched your um, wagon to the yeah, star that. Uh, no, the, but it's like the it, one career that's based on my looks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, uh, do you think like where? How much of it is like just a passion for acting, and how much of it is like, man? First of all. I got calluses all over that part of my brain, you know, yeah. like I, I can take a punch, like, yeah. uh, or, or, or like, I mean, part of it's me. I mean, I'm sure part, ever since a kid, I've always like, whenever people said you can't do something, I've always wanted to say, you know, well, fuck you. I, I'm going to like, cause I mean, doctors still don't know a lot about dwarfism cause it's a relatively recent thing. And it's, um, I just looked up the figure while I was backstage and there's like, Maybe th- even less than what I'd estimate. There's like thirty-five thousand people. Oh, okay. In, in the US. I love that you're the one googling, and then I just bring you out and go, "Hey, how does it feel to be small?" <laughs> Google it, motherfucker. Wait, 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 Colin, <laughs> you said there's there's less than thirty-five thousand people with dwarfism in the U.S. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, you was, said a hundred thousand in the. Yeah, that was a very much less. Than, I mean, even that hundred thousand seems very low. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's just not that prevalent of a thing. It's really, it's just it, not has, that because it's very Every like, around forty thousand births. Really? Yeah. Is there is that is there any like like looking back through history of like is it, is it has it been the same throughout history? Has it gone up and down, or do we, um, do we even know that? Well, I mean historically, I mean people were babies were kind of killed a lot when ah, they had right. differences that were yeah, and, uh, yeah. kind of like that. So it, and also record keeping wasn't yeah great. yeah that, that'd I be mean, hard, that, but actually like some, in some cultures like I've, I'm gonna be wrong so I'm not even gonna attempt to say which one it was but there's like paintings and stuff where you see people with dwarfism in very highly respected positions like you know because like you're saying with the whole brain thing like they were thought to be more intelligent that kind of thing uh, in some cultures but in you know Spartan stuff they would kill them yeah those are, that people left yeah. ha- that were left handed were killed too yeah, yeah it didn't yeah, take yeah. a whole lot <laughs> yeah no, why? No. <laughs> they're just like look like, uh, like, are, yeah, yeah. Are, are we a society or are we uh, <laughs> an emotion workshop yeah, or, or do we yeah. are, or, or do we love freckles yeah. this, guy, this guy uses this guy needs special scissors I say uh, yeah. ch- cheaper to feed the dogs <laughs> uh yeah, I mean, well, that's how, I mean, that's a really fascinating thing about humanity too is that we live in this like first world empire where we, I think, among the many assumptions that we don't know we're making, um, is that morality, like um, particularly interhuman uh, morality, uh, it, it's not like genetic; it's not born into you. It, that doesn't make it not valuable. Like we have this like misconception that like it's, it's like the, the the really uncomfortable truth is that human beings are designed to survive wherever you might happen to drop them like like and that is so if you are living in a society that is hateful mm-hmm. you will not use the word hateful to to describe the thing that's hateful you'll use the word normal to yeah. describe the word hateful um if you're a spartan for just the example i always use because they had this like really historically documented incredibly specific society where you got killed apparently for being left-handed it's like the kids growing up in that world they weren't like like man this is fucked up like like, like i'm sure some of yeah. them were and then they got killed because that's yeah. worse than being left-handed they were yeah. <laughs> 
but but they weren't like like like, like people yeah. didn't go to bed and, and like sweat and like have acid reflux and go to a therapist and go I can't figure it out and they're like well you're a Spartan and you're supposed to be living in Wisconsin in 2016 <laughs> uh, where where everything's very enlightened oh thanks doc uh, I'll move there right away it, yeah. with the the therapist was a Spartan and said you should have your head cut off uh, and my job shouldn't exist because this is Sparta. Um, the the it, it it we and we need to acknowledge that not because we need to hate ourselves more we need to be proud of the fact that we're able to adapt to anything but we need to I think we need to like like that the illusion that we have some inborn sense of right and wrong is yeah. is, is, is is dangerous as the other thing that 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 is it's this illusion that if you say the right combination of words you can you can make everything better and I, yeah. that whoever smelt it dealt it rule yeah. um, because now and then we're talking uh, I'm a I'm a writer and a producer talking to an actor mm-hmm. and so like you were just telling me in the green room like you were uh, like obviously any but like you said you just went out for your first part that was like that had nothing to do with your well stature. well not my first but like it's been. And part of that's due to my agent being one of you know she's she's cool with sending me out for anything that you know young twenties ish. The casting director. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, or your agent. My agent is. Um, but I've been getting called in a, a few more times recently for stuff that's not exclusively for a little person or that kind of thing. And because like, when you see a breakdown, like as an actor, it'll say all. all Ethnicities, all yeah. shapes and sizes, and they don't really. I mean, no, I, they don't. Mean they don't that. fucking mean that. <laughs> because the, because the writer wrote it and said uh, she's tall, she's uh, she's nerdy, hot, right? Yeah. You know, and like, hot, hot doesn't know it. Submit all ethnicities. Like you, like you said, blonde five times in that in yeah. that description. <laughs> right. Like I mean, they're, they're saying that the, the corporation has to say yeah. that, and I think there. I, I was I was about to ask the same question that Dan just asked you. Do you are you seeing any opening up of that gate to with them actually meaning? such things when they say that well i think they're the fact that i'm even getting in the room now is speaks to something is because you know with the age of technology and stuff you can look at someone's entire thing without ever meeting them right and you know i don't pretend to know what goes on in casting offices i've never been in, a, in like on that side but i feel like you know once you look at someone's real and you're like all right they're very clearly not what we're looking for it Helps you narrow down, but hopefully, yeah. Now they can yeah. it can come down to essentially what the character needs to be, as opposed yeah. to what they thought the, yeah. the the silhouette of that person needed to be. And I feel like as more young, well, not young writers, but like writers that are more open minded and that kind of thing, become in positions of power where they can, um, you know, like create shows and that kind of thing. That, By the way, it'll have to be young writers because. Uh, Ironically, if you're over fifty, you're not allowed to be a writer. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I, not 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 on, like on a staff. Like I've run up against that, where it's like there's the, well, there was a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit about ageism in writing room, writing rooms. I just thought it was. Really? I just wanted to dip that in because oh, the, yeah. the layers of irony that like I, I didn't know that it will actually. be a young writer. It won't be an old writer because oh. old writers are sitting at home going fuck society. They fucking. <laughs> Um, is that like, like yeah, I know yeah. why you didn't hire me. Yeah. Um, the the I, I it it will start with writers, and I I, yeah. I know this firsthand, and it's also like important for me to say this is a hundred and eighty degree point of view, hundred and eighty degree yeah. from when I was your age. Yeah. Um, when I was your age, I was unemployed. I wanted to be the best writer in the world. I wanted to save the universe with my words, mm-hmm. and I was also without realizing it, I was just like the voice of like you know holding things back because i would get my writers guild magazine which was being printed with the money that i didn't have and it was like i broke my tooth last month but because i didn't do a rewrite on a beetlejuice cartoon this month i can't get it fixed and and the money's going to like this glossy magazine and every you know i open my mailbox and there's always some smiling ugly face looking at me that's a successful writer and I was like, who's this peanut headed fucking oh, it's just Whedon. okay i <laughs> Uh, in fact, well, what did he do that's so great? Uh, I traded Buffy. Okay, well, what else though? All right, all right everything. All right, fine, fine. Click it. <laughs> then I won't read your magazine. Why? What? We're called writers. Why are you making us read shit? Um, but then when I, when I would look through that, magazine, writers hate reading. 
<laughs> I, well, one of the one of the one of the bookmarks I have in my head of the 180 degree Harmon as a, a politically as a writer mm-hmm. is throwing literally throwing one of those WGA magazines across the room because I had just looked at this um, sidebar item that was like called a report card about diversity in writers' rooms or something like that, mm-hmm. and I I saw the words and I didn't even see the content I just threw it. And it, I, it was, I was doing it. People think that the that the white people that are doing that are doing it because they're racist. Uh, they, like, like it, it, they're they're doing it because they're they're they they're pro, it's derived from privilege. But it's a combination of that and like fucking like underdog syndrome. Everybody's an underdog. So like, I was like. I'm the best writer in this fucking city, and the union that represents me is 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 spending money and attention on a competition between who can hire more people that have different shaped hats uh, than who is the best writer. And I, I, when I would say that, I would imagine a chorus of super talented black writers behind me going, "Fucking go, man!" Because I I don't want I don't want any fucking handouts, and I want to be a good writer. I, like I want to be known for my writing too. I was. Deluded, the difference is I had to become a showrunner. I had to be in charge of hiring. I had to have a stack of scripts on my desk and be like, oh, oh, Harvard, Yale, Harvard, Yale, Harvard, Yale, and be like, 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 oh, there's a systemic thing and this cycle needs to be broken at any point along the chain, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So, like, like, the new thing now, the bleeding edge of this is like, like, oh, it's like I just finished a script with. Chris McKenna, who like effectively ran Community Five and Six with me, and was like the reason why Community is good. Um, we because we're old white men who are like in the twilight of our efficacy and just want to like we want to write another good one, you know, and and like do everything right from square one. We're like writing this script together, and we're having all these conversations, going like, how do you like? Okay, is it possible to write a gender neutral character? Um, so far, it turns out the answer is no. <laughs> like, this, there's, I mean, it's possible to write a transgender character. It's not possible to, to like leave it up to the casting director without the script reading like toothpick instructions. I like, like, uh, it's, uh, like, like pronouns are fucking endemic to moving the action. <laughs> like, 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 there's a way. I, I'll try to get more talented, but like, ultimately, what I ended up doing is going this character when introducing the character. This character can be any gender. Um, we're gonna call him a he to fucking get the script finished. Uh, like, 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 but it's gen- it's a gender neutral character. What's important is their age. Sometimes what's important is their age. It's important that they're in their twenties because of the the dynamic that they'll have with the person in their forties, um, d- d- depending on the the situation. Uh, we 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 talked the entire time. I, mean, I have a point to all of this. Uh, <laughs> we talked the entire time. Is like you know these like noble minded fucking like like middle aged white writers were going like, how do you accomplish this? What do you do? Like like and we kept the thing that we kept saying that having this like weird debate about was like okay there's this this buffoon in the script it's the Michael Scott figure he's like the he's the guy that you love to feel bad for or slash hate he's got his foot in his mouth you know like we we would have endless conversations like like just like can that we know that can be a woman if the actor is 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 the right actor can ultimately though as a com- as a comedian as a comedic writer who worships at this altar that is so much higher is there a craft that you're betraying even by 5% in the interest of like progress or anything should that buffoon is it is it is it an extra 5% funnier if he's a straight white male is it does it go down 5% for the sake of progress if your buffoon for instance is uh, is is a woman, and and the, the answer we never we we very happily like never came up with an answer, yeah. so we just were like okay let's just keep thinking of this guy we work with and using him as like in our heads and like let's just make sure when we get if we start to get a, a pickup we gotta we gotta fight this battle in casting we gotta say. Yeah. Get Kristen Wiggin here and see if she can like do this like Michael Scott character. Yeah, you wish, asshole. Uh, the the uh, no, I wasn't. I, I have. I, oh, okay. I make no eye contact and said you wish, asshole, to myself. You uh, thought there okay. was an asshole. Yeah. Uh, the um, 
So here's the last part of my story that's a cautionary tale for the future because it, it's still it's up to writers and it's fucking like I was on the phone because we turned in the script and they're like, this is awesome. Let's get on the phone and talk about what actors to give this to. And I'm like, holy shit, this has never happened. Um, like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're talking about this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and this white guy and this white guy and this white guy and this white guy. And I didn't even it was like 40 minutes into the fo- the conference call and I was like looking at headshots and I was like. Like, this is a blizzard of talent. A very talented blizzard. <laughs> I, I, it, I, am, I am, my cup runneth over with ruds and, uh, and, 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 uh, uh, like, and, and, and I, and then I, I had to, like, to like, like, I, I'm not, I'm not telling this story because I'm any kind of hero in it. I'm telling the story as a, as a, as a, like because I was so fu- I forgot I fucking forgot until halfway through the conversation and then I was like oh yeah yeah, yeah wait wait and then I was like I was, I was like what, we we you guys know right like have we ever had this conversation like 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 is this something that's unspoken casting directors have to run their thing like a target they have to know where the where the big shirts are and the small shirts and the dark shirts and the checkered shirts they have to if they don't know that they're Part of their job as a casting director, not the whole job, they're doing it wrong. They have to be like a wholesaler of, of corporeal humanity. Oh, you want a little person? I got, I know a fucking great actor who's a little person. Um, you want the word little person to change? I, it's out of my jurisdiction. Uh, the, but the other, and, and the other part of their job is, is like curating talent and going like, no, I'm not going to send you a little person who's also a hack and all this shit. And also, hopefully, going like, look, you said this character it can be anything. I, uh, I, I, I'm sending you the the most like 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 the the the, the best actors I have. My favorites. They, like that's what cast good casting directors do. They they already do that. It starts the the important thing that starts with the writer as much as it's, 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 the writer has to be like if you're in TV they have to be like you're gonna think of like fucking white people from your neighborhood if you don't if, if you don't like, but like, like, Dan, like slow uh, the switch if I'm interrupting you like in, do you want to keep uh, please, going you're interrupting me and you're a hero for it it's like, <laughs> you're, no, it's like, the blue wire the blue wire <laughs> but like for instance the Abed character you knew a guy named Abed we, we, our, our friend uh, the real Abed who is uh, is he was he Iraqi, Iranian? What, what is what is Abed? He's, 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 he's Arabic, he's, uh, Arabic ha, ha, half Arabic, uh, half like Swedish or something. Yeah, uh, and, but, and, and he is you know on on some part of the spectrum and whatever. And you wrote this interesting character, and you said like, I'm basing it on this person. I felt like it was important the regionality. Yeah, but, well, but Danny, Danny Pudi came in, who's Indian, half yeah, yeah, Indian, but, half but, Polish. But, but, but then, but that's that's a, maybe possibly a step in a direction. You said like like because your circle of friends stopped being. Uh, White dudes from Milwaukee and then white dudes from Los Angeles, whatever. Like you started to have a bigger group of friends. You meet Colin. You meet more women. You meet people that like like you can start writing as a writer and say, um, "I'm writing this around an actual person that you should meet." And then not that it needs to even be that person at the at the end of the day when when they when they cast it and when they make the show, but you start like focusing in like on saying like. Um, the reason why we're doing this is not randomly trying to be diverse. We're writing this because I hung out at a bar with Colin, and th- the character doesn't have to be uh, have dwarfism. The, the, um, I just think it's way funnier, like because I've met him and I talked to him, and there's an essential quality here. Well, that- this is a lazy answer, but it's like when when it's if 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 what you're doing is really specific, uh, as in that example. Then go with God and do that. Use that technique. I wrote this for my uh, small friend Colin. I had a conversation with him, and I have this vision of this character. Even though there's no mention of it in the script, like I, it's important. And blah blah blah. Good, definitely go ahead, do that. I, I'm talking about the other side of it. Is when, when you don't have those specific thoughts yeah, yeah, yeah. and you are picturing either yourself or <laughs> um, Steve Carell. Uh, <laughs> you aren't doing anything wrong. You're just not doing a thing that if writers don't do it, like especially writer producers who work you're, 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 you're doing what's very comfortable for you. You're trying to get the script sold. You should think of Steve Carell while you write it, but you should ask yourself you should go through your script and go, how many of these jokes are based on him like uh, like 
uh, oh, here it is. Like they need an extra bounce card, but then the complexion of his face like reflects the sun. Like there is nothing. There's no bits like that. Like it doesn't matter what it doesn't. It, you you. But you should picture Steve Carell because you're picturing like this funny person or this the person with all these quirks. But then you have to say like to the casting director like and and the network and the studio you have to go like we gotta like put we gotta exercise a muscle that's like not atrophied whatever the word is when it's like not even used we have to we have to we have to start doing crunches with this muscle where we make sure that we're bring the the that that it's like a a cattle call and all the cows like are coming in colin how often like yeah. how many times like or percentage wise when you go in for casting is it specific to who you are and what you look like or how often is it not like do you feel like it's honestly like they're open for seeing you like because they're really you know it's like a probably 70 percent it's usually because of my size 30 30 right. ish recently. Well, I'm, like, I'm, I'm surprised it's, it's actually 70 30 like i yeah. would have thought worse than that but that's, yeah i mean like i mean my type's not called for that much so i mean it's not like it would be skewed if, like, that type was called for a lot do you, do, more. But... Do you feel some sort of, like, movement in that direction? Like, do you feel like it's, like, slowly yeah. shifting into a more yeah, even... Yeah, I think it's it's for everyone. I mean, honestly, like, right. you know, for people of different ethnicities, for for different genders, for, you know, different, like, gender identities. If we had kind of if we had a, like, an actor up here that was black and had dwarfism, what, what would, he, would he be like? Yeah, you, you fucking think you have a bad... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably, honestly. I've never... Yeah. That, well, that whole mediocre superpowers the question we're always asking ourselves man if I could conjure a, <laughs> well, <laughs> and, a and we were talking about this a little bit before I don't know if you remember but like how a friend of mine once told me that I am both privileged and not privileged at the same time which to be fair like when I'm walking around the streets in New York cops like smile right they 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 they, 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 they nod and like they they say they some of them say hi and what, what, what about Chicago? I've never been to Chicago. Yeah, don't go there. Really, don't I've, go there. I've never, I've I've but never not wanted a, a little person, black uh, person, to to be around me. But I've never no. wanted it more than right now because yeah. I'm so fat. I want to know, like, if yeah. you, if I, you would say, uh, like, like, oh yeah, cops. Like, I have no idea. Like, I I wouldn't know, and I'm not about to speculate. Yeah. So. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just because I'm, I'm not in a position to say because, I mean, I would never, you know, like... Because it could go either way. Yeah. It's like the cops are smiling yeah. at you because they're just like, God, finally a stress-free encounter just for... So like, that like, just they, like, they, ne- they don't think I'm capable or would do anything. Until like, the first day, you know, ISIS will, you know, yeah. a, 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 a yeah. little terrorist will... I think... You know, was, was there a story? I think I remember yeah, seeing how, a storyline about is it, that. Is it, is it ISIS sure. that you're offended for? <laughs> I always sometimes no, I just want to check in with you guys. <laughs> I mean, I would be offended if ISIS was trying to capitalize on, like, being an un- undiversity. Yeah. Like, like, like they thought that was going to make them more likable. The and and, and then ISIS eventually would have more diversity than Paramount. <laughs> uh, like, that would be oh my God, look fucking at this. amazing. Did you, guys, did you guys see who crashed that bus into that fucking school? It I mean, was a, there was like little. It was a people, transgender. Was uh, <laughs> I, like, well, I had it covered. If, if I, yeah, I mean, if ISIS's only goal was to was to win, <laughs> to blow our minds, fucking hit us where not our wallets, because we'll, you know we'll, we'll we'll bail out corporations if they go bankrupt. Like, you can you can destroy as much shit as you want, but hit us hit us where we're fucking thinking we're actually proud of ourselves. <laughs> Like ha- have a have a bunch of beautiful post feminist naked women like 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 just yeah. blow some shit up and and be like yeah I I accept my sexuality I have agency and I love ISIS. <laughs> uh, this, right. this is my friend the African American sorry I'm sorry what African Syrian uh, uh, little person he uh, he fucking loves ISIS too. <laughs> Colin, for me, uh, I, I'm going to answer the question I'm going to ask you first because if, if, mm-hmm. if uh, I, I've never, I've always wanted to be, as an actor, I, I want to be in a western, I want to be on a horse, mm-hmm. I want to be running, like riding fast on a horse and shooting a Remington, and like yeah. I want to be like in a western. Yeah. I love westerns. What if you could be any role, like do you, do you have like like what, like like any character or style or genre that you'd like to be in? Um, honestly, I, I think that what would make the strongest. I mean, like, what I would want to do is probably, like, not something that, just, 
a role that honestly just demonstrates an aspect of my humanity. No, I mean, yeah, I mean like, like, I mean, like, it, it like could be probably, anything in the world. You know, yeah, yeah. Comed- it's probably something comedic, but like, you know, in in the way that kind of Broad City is doing, where it's turning the, you know, how men treat women on its head and that kind of thing. And, yeah. And it's like pointing out how stupid the comments that men make towards women are. And by like, and there's this, um, uh, you know the Cyrano, Cyrano de Bergerac, the how he's how he's how someone calls him big nose, and then he comes up with all these more clever things that they should say. Right. And it would ideally be something like that, where That's... it's where it's like turning. And um, one of my friends actually like because he's going through something similar because he was like, um, he's he's trying to succeed as an actor and he's black and he, and we. And he he makes height jokes towards me, and I make black jokes towards him. And we have so, to we have to get Demorge out here. We gotta get Demorge out here. D- Dan and just had a partial orgasm here. <laughs> it's it's dehuman dehumanization palooza. Yeah. Um, like, I, this is Demorge's and, favorite thing. He'll be brought out as a representative yeah. of of his race. But, he loves I mean, that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, he'll make. I mean, like, we we can with you know some jokes that like other people can make, and if it's okay, I'd like to. You know, share a couple of those. You know, like like if someone like he was saying, someone could say, "Grow up," <laughs> and um, that one went over your head and that kind of thing. Right. <laughs> uh, but it's just it's just like more clever turns of phrases like that that are just not used. Because it's just easy to make the obvious jokes and that kind of thing. Yeah, but, but you can talk shit with your friends and yeah. like and like so like if you and I get like like we're closer friends like like mm-hmm. we we could you could like diss me on what like anything any any flaw in my personality or anything I did that night. It's like it's fun to fire yeah. off at each yeah. other. And I mean because, I because there's 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 equality yeah. in yeah. in fun joking you know trash yeah. talk. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, well, once you're familiar, once you get bored with shit, that's what that's what progress is, yeah. basically. It's like speaking and, and, of getting bored with and, shit, let's bring out yeah. Demorge Brown. Oh! Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's got those green pants. Shake all the hands. Yeah, I know. That was a classy move. Like, uh, Demerge is the... He's, no one shakes Spencer's hand. That's true. I shake everybody's hand as they enter. Except for yours. You just walk Sometimes right Sometimes I want to be one of those guys that when he comes up, I, I, like, sh- I like shake the hands of the front row. Like a, I, got, I think maybe Bon Jovi did that. I don't know. I'm a cowboy. Hi, how are you? On the steel horse I ride. Hey, Toby from Michigan. I'm wanted. What? Stephanie. <laughs> Dead or alive. That's a great showbiz trick, though, and politicians use it all the time, and it's taken from showbiz, is the fake pointing to people that you see in the crowd. Like, yeah. Like, like, you're at Madison Square Garden, and there's 9,000 spotlights on you. You can't see shit. Uh, but you're like... <laughs> Because Springsteen's always like, oh, show you. He's just giving you that. Like, yeah. and, and there's eight guys named Tony up on the fucking mezzanine. And they're like, oh, you fucking looked right at me. I, de- I never really thought that that was fake. I, because I, because, <laughs> because oh, you when can't I can't see anything. When uh, I see people do that, I, 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 I always think, oh, that's unprofessional. <laughs> this is, is this too personal? But I just realized, yeah, because it's like, I'm thinking that like out of some like, yeah. You know, I'm not going to diagnose myself, but there may be something wrong. Dan, in it. Dan, Dan, like, just do a, do a half walk up on stage and just point. You you can only see no, what you, the first five rows. I can see. You, uh, yeah, you can. I see Dave Klein. Yeah, but Dave Klein's within that lighting. Within Dave that, Klein has his own light. Ar- artisanal lights. <laughs> Dave, Dave Klein, Klein is lit is, by his mother's cesarean. Uh, <laughs> there's light pouring out of the of the sacrifice she didn't make. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Klein just beams that his beard emanates its own sort of uh, he's eminence. Like, he's like one of those plates at your grandma's house that has Jesus on it. It's just like he's lit by the, the anxiety you have <laughs> for being an atheist at 11 years old. I think How you doing, Demorge? What's, 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 what's new in the Demorge Brown world? Nothing, man. Uh, it's... February, I've spent a year working on other people's projects, so I'm sort of gearing up to start making more of those weird shorts. I, I make a lot of weird, absurdist shorts under the name Black Empowerment Network. Uh, hey, 
Uh, so it's time to make more of those. And I think probably in February I'll shoot like three of them, I think. Three I see, insane I see a lot of awesomely cinematic photos of you like looking like you're on some sort of 35-millimeter set somewhere, but it's just... It's just me working on other people's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Psychotic park ranger. Just, oh, shit. Is he, is he in The Revenants? That, that's, that's, great. That's, a, that's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Have we ever mentioned Gumble on this show? Like on the on the podcast, I don't know. Uh, if not, I mean, no, if you, not to if, me at least. If you don't know it, uh, is, is is it all Channel One Hundred and One? Yeah, it's yeah. all Channel One Hundred and One. Yeah, yeah. If you, if, for those of you who do not know, here or listening, go watch all of Gumbo and watch how good Demarge is. It's really, well, really. Not, I mean, that's a that's a it's a short series that was done. I think there was eleven episodes, although the last one's twenty five minutes long or something. <laughs> Uh, but it's uh, but that was Kyle Ryder who yeah. uh, and also Matt Freund. And the three of us together just sort of saying, what could we do that's absolutely insane and, uh, it's just, it's and really, involves all of It's really good character-driven. Yeah, it is starts it, off as like Bronson meets Arsenal meets uh, I think Harold and Maude. It, it was an excuse shit. for you to wear your Arsenal gear on camera, right? Just, I, I would pitch that to Kyle for everyone that we would shoot every <laughs> month. Yeah. Maybe he's got this jacket on. But also I kind of felt like... Sometimes he'd say yes, sometimes he'd say no. Like, folding back on a question to Colin, uh, the, because it also felt like in that Gumball series like that the, you guys collectively, I always imagined, were talking about that you liked movies like uh, Sexy Beast or like that you liked like yeah. British in, indie movies and that it was beyond like... That we had grown beyond, oh, let's make a space movie because space movies are silly and we'll make our own space movie and it'll be silly. It was like Channel 101 had evolved into like, let's actually do what we really, really, really want. We like the flavor of like this actual like quality cinema that's being imported. Um, and, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had uh, I had made <laughs> – Kyle called me one day. I was – when Drive came out, uh, uh, everybody was going crazy about Refn and – I was like, well, these people haven't seen Valhalla Rising, they haven't seen Bronson, uh, they haven't seen Pusher, uh, and but everybody was saying that you know that Drive was like the first movie that he'd made, and and um, there were all these Drive parodies coming out, and Kyle called me and he's like, I want to make something, I want to make it with you, uh, but I don't want it, I, I don't want it to be sort of referencing other things that other people have seen. I really don't want it to reference anything. We could start at a certain point and go from there. Have you seen Bronson? And at that time, I was watching Bronson on YouTube with Swedish subtitles. It was, it was in English, but it had Swedish subtitles. And I was like, yeah, idiot, I've seen it. And, I go, and he goes, what if we start there? And then we just started with this thing where I was like, what about the idea of a guy who sees Bronson and says, that's my fucking life? <laughs> but that guy's life, whereas the actual Charlie Bronson, where his actual life is worth a two-hour movie, what if this guy's life is worth a five-minute short? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what would you name that guy? And I go, it would have to be something really mundane, but also you know, have some pop to it. And the next day, I just woke up out of the sleep, and I said, what if his name was Brian Gumble?" <laughs> <laughs> He's just a guy who's named Brian Gumbel, and we started from there. So I shaved my head for it and grew a circus strongman mustache, and, and then I said, he has to love Arsenal, and Kyle was like, yeah, whatever, man. So, <laughs> Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal's an English soccer team, everybody. It is the or, English uh, soccer team. It is so, the English soccer it's number, team. Is it number one right now or number two? No, uh, Leicester's on top. Are, uh, uh, they're three now. Leicester's on top, three. mate. Well, fuck Leicester's on fucking number one. Top the table, you cunt. So, Colin, I'm just pretending gently, I don't want to talk to <laughs> Colin, just as an actor, then, because you, you, your first answer was just like, oh, you let him do that, that scene from Roxanne where Steve Martin gets all the fucking big nose jokes out yeah, before the yeah, bullies yeah. do. But, like, the is there, like, a, j just as an actor, like, who, what's the. Like, like not, not not the action figure, but what's the scene like? Like, 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 what do you like? I, I'll, I'll, I'll start and like, like, because like, he said you want to be a cowboy shooting a thing. Like, I want to be the the Zuckerberg, Howard Hughes, like the. I want to be uh, the Steve Jobs, like the 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 guy in the in yeah. the in the scene. That's you want to like, be a rich white guy. I <laughs> I, I, look, it's what I'm good at. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to be. The, I want to be. I want to be the guy that that the that, that people would love to fucking murder, and and they can't. Uh, and 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 like that 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 lives by his merit, and that is is misunderstood, misjudged. Like I want to do those monologues where that are written by Aaron Sarkin types who are like like where you're just fucking like t 
phrasing exactly like 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 what something that is not likable necessarily, but is just like the verbal equivalent of the Hulk bending a car in half and yeah. <laughs> shoving it up his own ass and then pulling it out of his mouth the size of a ping pong ball and throwing it away. Um, <laughs> Which is like in, 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 in the social network is that moment when Zuckerberg, like whatever that monologue is, when he goes like, everyone in this room has one thing. Everyone in this room that wants to say they invented Facebook <laughs> has one thing in common. They didn't invent Facebook. I, just, I love that Sorkin-y shit. What, it's, so it's like in terms of like the tone of the, the, the scene, like it's there like a yeah. fantasy of like, like just as an actor, like what the kind of like monologue, like what, 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 what point of view the monologue might come from that you feel like you could like nail. I think something that, yeah, I I think it would be along the lines of Kevin Spacey slash Brian Cranston from um, House of Cards and Breaking Bad, respectively, when they just say some like have a monologue where it's just so clear that they're such a dangerous person, <laughs> and but they're about to go and make the people around them trust them. Right. And because I mean, there's still I th- I think something about I can see as being a very good bad guy. Like 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 a like a like a strangely horrifying bad like bad guy in a film. Yeah, but not like in like a willow way. <laughs> <laughs> bad guys come in all sizes. <laughs> no, no, I, I I I'm just talking about like eye contact, like 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 the fact that like like. Uh, the, the, some, the, the the best bad guys are, aren't the ones that look like like the most like the, like the most like physically violent. Yeah, they're the, yeah. they're the ones that have like a, like a a sublimated like yeah. like, like, a, like an internal thing. Well, who's you the know, guy like, in the wire? Like, like the guy. Like there's so many like thugs in the wire that you're terrified of in different yeah. Omar? ways. No, oh. it's the he you fall in love with him because uh, like like he fits in a fucking like ultimately in like a, po- a spot in your tackle oh, box. Oh, Snoop. No, it's uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The guy who wins. I don't want to spoil the wire. But the guy who's the last man standing. Marlo. Oh yeah, yeah. He when you when you, when you meet him, he's like he's he he never raises his voice. I don't think in the entire yeah. run of the show, he's like and like it's fucking terrifying because he's sending people out to kill people and yeah. yeah. I mean, would you? Would you but you said because you said you used two examples. Used uh, Kevin Spacey in uh, House of Cards and, and uh, uh, what's his fucking uh, Breaking Bad? Yeah, <laughs> Brian Cranston. Uh, yeah. uh, these are both these are both people who need a chance. You said, and so then they're gonna go out and prove. Well, that they're, they're, well, they're right. gonna go. You don't yeah. just want to like kick ass and like like no, intimidate because I mean that would be bullying. I like, well, I feel like that would be too obviously trying to say, "Hey, I can be a badass." Oh, hey, look, short. it's 180 degrees. Yeah, like look it's, how it, tough it, it, you want it, that. You want that monologue moment, though. Yeah, I that want that Kevin, monologue like, moment where it's like Kevin Spacey in uh, in uh, James, what's that mammoth movie? The, the Foley James Foley made a. A mammoth play into a movie, Glengarry Glen Ross. Oh yeah, yeah. Where he starts off as this guy everybody hates. <laughs> that's how you. That's your path to remembering Glengarry Glen Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for it's me, like, for it's me. like if you said like uh, Gary Kurtz produced this little ditty, uh, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, uh, something. Uh, it was based on a novella. Uh, something Death Star, Wicked comes. Uh, that's my level, man. That's my level. <laughs> you're too. You're too fucking educated. So for me, like, oh, I, like w- w- when I watched uh, uh, Alec Baldwin in Malice, when he gives the, I, I, the do, do I have a god pl- complex? Yeah. I am God. I'm a doctor. Like, uh, like that. It's like oh, it's like stillness, that, right? Like, it's, it's like that's a great bad guy because he's he's the hero of his own movie, and also he's pretending to be a bad guy. I like that one. However, so here's <laughs> Harmon hairs to split. In that movie, Malice is fucking great. Really, rent, rent Malice and check it out. Nicole Milo Kidman, Schwarman. Alec Baldwin, Bill, Bill Pullman. Yeah. Did I just mix yeah. up their last You got it right. right. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's really great as far as just like, I mean, popcorn, eat, like thriller, like twisty thriller. Uh, the, uh, it's the Bill Pullman. It's not so much a monologue, but it's later, the opposite side of the story circle from that, where Bill Pullman is talking to Nicole Kidman, and she says... I'm not going to give any spoilers, but she she says, what do you want? That's the cue for his monologue. And the end of his monologue is like, I want half. What the fuck do you think I want? <laughs> um, and, 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 but it's like, it's because he's, it's the underdog thing. And I do think like, like, and he's privileged like Alec Baldwin he, yeah. was a doctor to begin with. So he's like, I'm special and he's privileged. Like I think, as I yeah. mentioned earlier, I think like the biggest problem, uh, the the thing that keeps 
hatred moving culturally in this country is the fact that Donald Trump right now somewhere is tucking his little shitty head into a pillow going like, oh, today's chalk one up for the little guy. <laughs> And he and he's and he's like writing a telegram home to his mom, going, "Mom, I finally got what's co- what I deserve." I would fundamentally disagree with that. No, I, 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 don't th- I don't think he has that gene in his fucking DNA. I or, think you're or, wrong. I think genes you're, in I, DNA. I truly think you're wrong. I don't. I don't think people behave that way. I think some people behave that way. Like like there's a, there's a there's a but but I don't see it in him. I think that the, it's actually more dangerous when like like people that have all the power. They like I can attest to it. It's like it's it's everybody everybody that's fifty feels twenty five, and everybody with all the fucking power feels like an underdog. They they that is like the, at the root of every argument you see flare up in every comment section under every unrelated YouTube video. It's just like some guy holding a sparkler, and su- the N word is not far. Uh, the guy is not black. The sparkler is not spelling the thing. Uh, it's like. The politics like fucking explode underneath this thing, and it's like, oh, these libtards are gonna do this. Oh, the right thing. It's like, what the fuck is going? The guy's waving a sparkler in a circle for fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, but Dan, that guy was totes gay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason the, the the reason that pot keeps stirring is because of this like concept that everybody, it's capitalism's greatest success, is that you're never Spielberg is going to bed somewhere tonight, going like, man, oh, if I could just have creative control <laughs> for real or he wouldn't do the shit he's been doing you think even after he, all this time if he, he was even capable still? of going to bed one night and going like I did it the next thing that would happen would be 60 of the greatest movies shot on the shittiest camcorder in the world they'd be fucking great no, but I think he's going to bed every night going fucking Sony god damn it next time next time I'm gonna get a fiber optic cable to my place in the Hamptons and I'm gonna make the dinosaurs myself <laughs> and, 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 and I want merchandising merchandising because then I can funnel that into the special effects budget and the line producer's not gonna fuck me this time and, <laughs> and his wife is going like sweetie you're a genius it's yeah, that's what everyone says. That's what everyone says. <laughs> Tell that to 20th. Tell that to fucking 20th. I want, I want this movie to be made with Colin playing you during this scene. <laughs> Colin playing me? Yeah. Uh, Colin's playing me writing it or yeah, Colin's no, you playing know, Spielberg? He, you know, he's the actor playing you. You're, he's, he's portraying this, like, like, you're, this monologue. This and we got, Colin can play Spielberg. I'll play, I'll play your wife. I'll just be going like, sweetie, stop. <laughs> Come to bed. <laughs> Come to bed. Spencer, uh, what, what monologue, what scene, what genre, what's, a, do you, what's your fantasy, like, if you could portray or you uh, could, anything? Yeah, I'm a real, I'm a real actor at heart. Well, no, when you, I don't when know. When you watch is, a film, do you get, like, like, what kind of scenes do you... I like the guy who, like, reveals that he's the one, like, touching all the pieces on the chessboard, you know? He's like, you know, there's all these people, and I was pulling the strings forever. You know, like one of those like, like, monologues where you instantly reveal. Give us a. Can you? What's a for instance in film? Oh wait, wait I wait. mean, I can't. I don't watch. I've films. got a good one. You you've probably never seen uh, uh, the Peter Johnson uh, adapted Glengarry Glen Ross. Uh, <laughs> The have you seen Glengarry Glen Ross? No. There's a there's a there's a everybody gets a monologue in that movie, but I feel like he he would want the Kevin Spacey one. The the, the when he takes Jack Lem- Jack yeah. Lemmon yeah. down, right? Like, will you, will com- you go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? Will you go to lunch? And then they cut to Lemon, and Lemon's just got this like cookie in his hand. He's like, Oh wait, no. Are you talking? Are we talking about two different moments? You're talking about copies for closers. Moment when Kevin Spacey turns out to be the the serious badass. Because that one just happens to Lemon in private, and you realize, oh, this guy's a motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. Because he's saying like he likes to be the guy that you underestimated that turns out to have all the yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Which is a cousin of mine, but like. Second cousin, but but the deception removes me, and then the Alec Baldwin I'm removed from because he already he was a doctor like the 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 medical association already accepted him. <laughs> I want to be a fucking raving. I want to be John the Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, Jesus Christ! No wait, he didn't get angry enough. John the Baptist. <laughs> Jesus got angry in a in a, spe- in a special what if version of the story where he cuts everyone else's head off. You know you'd be you'd be a good like if you had to remake like the the film the, the Ten Commandments is hilarious because you have every great over actor in, in, in one movie, but like Har- Harmon you'd be good as Pharaoh like a Jewel Brenner. 
Because you wouldn't be like, so let it be written, so shall it be done. You'd be like, God damn it! Like, fucking do what I told you to do. Like, you'd be more... Yeah. You, 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 you feel like God's giving you notes. You're like, I, how, many, how many eagle-faced people do I have to worship to, for locusts not to eat my crops? Yeah. I think you'd be a good pharaoh. Yeah, but he was wrong. Was he? Not as far as he was concerned. Yeah, but... I mean... Oh, you know, you know how about just pilot? How about like Mark Anthony? Like Mark Anthony? I don't know enough about the him. He was a big sexy macho guy who fucked Cleopatra. I haven't seen Wizard of Oz. You haven't seen or or Cleopatra or read, read anything about Cleopatra? Oh, is that what he's in? Okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen the classics. I'm, I've, I've seen 13 things on the AFI uh, 100, and it's because the AFI needed to round it up to 100. <laughs> So they put, like, Die Hard in there. They're like, this is only 73 I've, things. I've never seen American Graffiti, and people get on my ass about that. But I just, I, I never get up in the morning and go, you know what today I'm going to yeah. do? I'm going to fucking watch that movie about cars. Yeah. Just watch Dazed and Confused and add bleach. <laughs> like, to, to the film process? It's got, yeah, no, to the, no, to the oh, fucking to the, flavor. <laughs> um, the, it's, it's, it's like every generation makes a movie about, everybody's hanging out all night. This is what it was like. <laughs> I, I, I'll but do one. Was the, but it was that, called but... the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> the original one was like, yeah. yeah. Hey, Listen, but... you guys, I gotta go up to Mount Sinai. I just got the draft card. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Moses. Hey, hang out with Aaron. We're gonna worship a calf. Come on, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smoke reefer with Yahweh. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, everybody, this is Wolfman Jack coming at you. Ancient Judea, those Jews are wandering the desert trying to make their own nation. Come well, good on. luck to you out there. Come on. Here's Buddy Holly. Come on. Let's go, space trucking. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an all, yeah, yeah, hanging out all night. What was that? It was, uh, okay, American Graffiti, Days of Confused. I'm, I'm acting like this is a genre. There was there was a thing with Robert Wool in it called Hollywood Nights that, that was yeah. like, that was in the 80s. That well, was, and you, Fran you Drescher. You also have, uh, what's Say what? Fran Drescher in that too? I, I, I think it's like I, her first that, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want to watch that again. Like, 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 like Robert Wool, <laughs> who, who these kids don't even know is Arliss. Um <laughs> Let alone uh, Knox from uh, Batman, but but like uh, like 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 Robert Wool as the sexy senior in high school. Well, the eighties you had Footloose. That's a hanging out all night movie. No, 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 no. You uh, you you uh, you don't get it. No, <laughs> Footloose Footloose takes place over weeks, and it's there's caucuses. Oh, you're saying it has to be one night, uh, one like a yeah, twenty four hour like, affair. Yeah, that's what graffiti, okay. days and confused. It's just like it's like it's like oh, we're gonna go super bad. Is the is the is the right. newest one? It's like it's different when it's a comedy and not like a indie movie kind of like f- feel this time and place thing. I see. I think that I think that directors writers turn forty and then they go, man, when I was eleven. <laughs> and then they write those movies, and then you're like, "This is cool," because you're 30, and you're like, "Yay!" And then you and then you go into a back room, and there's just heads on the wall, <laughs> living heads, but living the, but, heads. And the neighbors keep complaining about the smell. How are the heads being s- sustained? If they're, are they're just heads? They're not being sustained. Huh? What? They're, you said that they're living heads. No, I said I, I mean I meant I meant. To, I'm a serial killer. <laughs> To me, they're oh, living. Oh, because you... They talk you. to me. They tell me who to kill right. next. Everybody, the exits are two to the rear. It's one behind. No, listen. The more heads I add to the wall, the more of an opinion I get, the less likely it is I'll kill again. <laughs> the less likely Sony gives you notes on your dinosaurs. <laughs> That would be an amazing serial killer gimmick, like like as a guy who's obsessed with um, like populism, egalitarianism or something. And so he's like, the cops can't catch him because they don't. He doesn't have a profile. Like he's only killing like white women with red hair. He's like trying to gather this like, he's trying to gather a sea of opinion. Because in his mind, instead of the dog telling him to kill people, which is just has the shelf life because dogs, whatever, and also you're crazy and you're going to get caught. Dogs just keep saying, kill the milkman. The guy thinks that if he, if he puts enough heads on his wall, the voice will tell him, like, like, okay, now you can stop killing. And so he keeps killing forever. 
and the cops can't catch him because all serial kill, killer tracking is based on like these profiles, and it's like the guy is just like, I don't, I'll use a gun, a hacksaw, I don't care, right? But and so he's just been doing it for forty years, he also, and he, maybe he has a a really highly listened to podcast. <laughs> maybe it's a true story, yes. and maybe maybe there's scenes where he confesses it in full view. <laughs> Maybe he's always hinting at it. His love of mannequin legs. <laughs> Maybe one day his wife disappears. <laughs> Remember that joke about white redheaded people? Yeah, it seemed like a throwaway when he first said it. All of a sudden she's gone. Where'd she go? <laughs> yeah, by the way, we haven't seen Kamel in a long time. <laughs> Curtis Armstrong, he's been <laughs> fucking glaringly missing in action. Uh, the worst. If you want to, if you want to, <laughs> you just reminded me. So, if you want to stop doing this podcast uh, and, and and like like or feel that you should like every like 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 just go to the Harmontown subreddit. Which, by the way, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look for any thread that has something like to do with Kumail. Because I like, like, like there's a, I miss Kumail. I'm not. Don't click on it. Like it's like, oh, you miss Kumail because of the podcast of shitty. One of them was like, Jesus Christ, I miss him too. It's a good, still a good podcast. That fucking <laughs> subreddit. That fucking subreddit. I went there for a really specific reason, um, and and then I was like, ah, I'll click around, and I saw one thread. I was like, I'm not. Click- I would look at all the headlines. I uh, I really miss Kumail. And I'm like, okay, so you really think the podcast sucks? Um, <laughs> like I, I like like uh, least favorite Harmontown episodes? Yeah, let me give that a click and a click. New. <laughs> um, and then I saw one. I was like, okay, before I go, there was one that just said like. Is this subreddit for complaining or liking? You said that? No, no, it was oh. a, it was the, oh. well, the the oh. uh, the headline of the post. Oh, I got you. So I was like, what is this? Are you are you you're playing a beat? Am I? No, no, that's <laughs> right. I, I was just writing something down. and I got distracted. No, there was like a bass line. Did anyone else hear that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're having a stroke. That was <laughs> the heads in my house are talking to me. I I I clicked on it. <laughs> there is nothing. When I was a. Kill, kill, kill. There's nothing. <laughs> if someone hates a podcast kill, and they want to like, like, do kill, they, they want to? <laughs> Green pants, black man. It doesn't exist on Demorge my wall. Is next. <laughs> Demorge is next. Do you know what you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, DeMorge, we don't hang out enough. <laughs> you should come back to the crib tonight. Like, uh, He's I having have, a real bob. I have like a million board games. I love board games. Do you like gazpacho? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of soup that is, no matter it how is. it tastes, you can't get alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's designed for poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Russian people have poisoned each other so fucking much because their sh- food is just like, well, I don't know. It's just Russian food. <laughs> you know, if it was you're radiation right. poisoning, I wouldn't be able to taste it. These, oh. these fuckers do nothing but poison each other. And then you're like, oh, the guy, yeah, I get why they can't. But that's why, but then, they don't have an orange Julius. But then there's a scene where there's a cop and, 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 and her, her like younger like partner, and she's like, you know, it's so hard to profile. All these people keep disappearing, but they're all over the country, all over the map. I'm not getting any, like, profile. <laughs> but all of the beets and potatoes are disappearing from all the markets right now. <laughs> Where does it? I make a spot. That's borscht. I got borscht. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Different movie. It's Vichy Anyways, Swan, too. Vichy Swan? Yeah. The worst thing in the world, you on the Harmontown subreddit right now, is not you saying this isn't I don't, like a, a good I, hornet's nest to tap? I do, <laughs> I do, it's not you saying I don't like this. I don't like that. That's not what it is. But as far as my personal nightmare is concerned, the uh, and it's also it's not anybody going because there's always a war going on between those people and the people going like uh, I think it's great and it's a free podcast. Why don't you shut up? And then like why don't you just kiss some ass some more? The worst. The problem is. The fucking war, the battlefield, because uh, both sides. Then it's just these conversations going on. The people who are who love the podcast going, 
Look, I understand Dan's a bad person. He has a lot of flaws about himself. But he never said he was a good person. I mean, hell, sometimes I find myself cringing or puking after a show. There's episodes that I've deleted from my hard drive because I never want to accidentally hear them again. All I'm saying is I want to win an argument with you. Don't do me any favors anymore! Stop sticking up for me in arguments between you and someone who hates me. The fucking change hitting the floor is burning my skin. When I was too young to speak, my first experience with this was my fucking brother and my mother would do nothing but incessantly argue about whether or not I was special. Like, it was like a fucking, like, just third person. You're a ghost in the room. I'm just like, I'll just... Can I keep sucking this? Uh, but Daniel doesn't have to do that. Daniel's special. No, well, how come he shits his pants all the time? Well, look, I wish he'd stop that, but... <laughs> he's fucking oh. smarter than you. <laughs> I've no, been, he's I, not! I've been saying that for years, Dan. <laughs> yes, he is. He's way smarter than you. No, he's not! No, come on, his writing? He's just fucking still sucking his thumb. You think he's a good writer? I can fucking do that. Do it. Do it right now. Write better than Daniel. Oh, oh, tis a far, far better thing. That's Tales of Two Cities, you cocksucker. Go in the basement, and I have to be up here with a kid that can't stop shitting his pants. That's how shitty you are. Oh, fucking shit. God damn it. Oh, God. I, uh, uh, listen, just stop shitting your pants so much, and uh, third act problems with this last draft. Go to your room and write a story about a guy that showers. I was, when am I going to get a break as a person that got pregnant out of high school? So anyways... Uh, Should we do a bit of role playing or no? Because I, the, the last one was pretty great because it, uh, like nothing happened except we ruined another uh, well, we shadow actually run. Did, isn't the last one we all admitted were terrible shadow runners and we failed the mission, right? Some, I mean, something like that. You were in a library. I mean, yeah. Well, you, you guys went to the library to find out about invisibility and whether or not invisibility works. <laughs> Which I like that, but also, could, could you, you guys all have comm links on your heads. Couldn't you just access that, like, on your phone? Do you have to physically go to a library? Having been yeah. to the subreddit, I think maybe <laughs> okay, so. we, could, we could also move my, forward into a world where, again, this has been my goal for a while. Like, we could stop playing Shadowrun. Like, we could... <laughs> I, th I, I, I think we've we proven can... that we're shitty at Shadowrun, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think we need to move into a world... I'll be transparent about this. I haven't brought this up yet, but I think, like, like the as far as, like, the role play... Somebody tweeted and said, oh, Spencer should be promoted to Vice uh, comp trailer. I was like, good, because we got to stop calling him game master because sometimes we don't play. The uh, the, but I think we should like try to figure out how to actually like move a segment maybe into the middle and or like we got to like get things down to like we got to have people that are always here. Yeah, because it's it's been too diffuse because the cast becomes six people that some of them aren't like Kumail Curtis. Aaron, yeah, like, and we're bringing people here. up. Like the golden age was, yeah. you know, because Kumail was coming here every week. It wasn't that he was a better person than me. <laughs> he was just here yeah, all the time. But, but wasn't it great? I mean, think about the days when Kamal was here. He was so funny. I know. He's hilarious. He's trying. There, awesome. there was a there was a there was a thread in the Harmontown subreddit about how much more likable Justin Roiland is than me. Ooh. <laughs> Do I have to bring him back on the show? Yeah. Yes. For you to see what I have to deal with? <laughs> so what, what are you... What, uh, if, if we are we going to stop playing Shadowrun and move on to something else? And, and, and Justin Roiland is a psychopath! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you don't know that is because he's a good one! <laughs> I'm hearts on my sleeve, baby. Yeah. It, D Dino's like like Albert Schweitzer compared to him. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thank you, um, thank you, Dave. But I think I think Grandma's virginity might be coming back. They keep teasing it. Oh, it's like, back, baby. Yeah. New episode. Now, Dan, what, what do you what do you what do you think? How, how, how do we go up forward? Oh, if, if yeah. We do well, role play? let's pick. Uh, okay, so uh, oh, boy. Hey guys. Spencer, well, you, you, you're, uh, aside being newly promoted vice comptroller. Okay. Uh, or for, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, 
Yeah, co- co-comptroller status. Like, oh a, man, v- Vice makes it sound like you are like you're subordinate to my controlling. Well, list, I think I I'm, I'll, I'll make that call. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's subordinate. He's he's. It's, I'm that's lower. Fine. I'm down here. This table is. I'm off the stage. I think Spencer needs to be more in this co- uh, conversation than than I do. But what, what, how do you two think that this should go forward? Mayor I, and vice comptroller. I think we should just start uh, playing like a different game, like boxing. <laughs> Just like straight real? up, box. Is, that, is that good podcast material? <laughs> I mean, we yeah, have a video our video, now. Yeah. We boost our video. Yeah, we're like trying our... to boost those sales. <laughs> yeah. it, it seems like people getting punched like drives up the. <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking about it. it's a good old fashioned bear baiting. Oh <laughs> shit! We'll just have an animal up on stage and <laughs> yeah. just stab it. You get a bear in a, in a pen and a bunch of rats, and who you you bet on the rats or the bear? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to figure it out off stage. Yeah, uh, the the one thing I thought of is there's this game called Fate. I think uh, Adam has probably been on our asses to play that game forever. Adam Goldberg, everybody, but uh, Fate is kind of cool and it's it's more narrative and more fuck aroundy. I don't know. Is it fantasy based or more reality based? Um, the, the one I'm thinking of is called Spirit of the Century, which is like pulp uh, pulp action kind of you know like 20s and fast talking detectives and mad scientists and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like. W- yeah, we never were like we only played Shadowrun for like thirty two seconds per week. <laughs> and we You know what we, I'd really like to do is suck a big old dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people that don't pay five dollars a month to subscribe to the video don't know that Dan didn't say that. Uh <laughs> Just a, like it's a personal issue, but eating those balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Dan Harmon for balls. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! But you do just do uh, do Sam Elliott doing a commercial for eating balls. <laughs> you know all the glitters ain't gold. <laughs> Well, there's one flavor I've come to know and love. <laughs> Balls. It's <laughs> what's for dinner. Uh, how is this not a regular segment of the podcast? <laughs> Sam Elliott. <laughs> oh, I, will do, I will do local spots by Sam Elliott. Anytime. There's a place in northern Colorado where the river runs so deep you can stick your dick in it. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, I'm saying, so just the, it's the penny part of me, but I want to get a Call of Cthulhu game going because, yeah! because j- just to stick it up Thomas Middleditch's ass, because he belongs to a Hello, I'm elite. Sam Elliott for sticking up Thomas Middleditch's asshole. Because he's got that legit- He's got an asshole so deep you can put your dick in it. <laughs> what is Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> It's just, it's just based on the universe of... <laughs> keep HP it in your Hunter. pants, Dave Klein. Keep it, keep it together. <laughs> it's just, just role-playing based on the universe of H.P. Lovecraft. That's all I can say. It's, 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 it's a game it? that involves serious commitment to the flavor of the universe. <laughs> this sounds like you're right up our alley. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I that's <laughs> very disclaimed tonal. all of it. It's a very tonal uh, a game. It's all about the horror... And uh, the paranoia of dealing with uh, the ancient ones. All right, let's let's the three of us talk about this off uh, off stage. We'll come we'll come at this in a way that we can come at this. And know that if we end up playing Call of Cthulhu, it'll be because of that conversation got very uncomfortable for Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where he ever like he, was he said, like, uh, "Fuck it, yeah. you can do this if you want. It will be under protest. I'll still do it because <laughs> I get paid so much." <laughs> Spencer doesn't get paid. Are we? Are, <laughs> would we? Would we theoretically then be allowed to play that legally? Because Harmon Quest, are we allowed? Well, to yeah, that's that, right. I'm that's, actually trying to think of because as far as the, the letter of the contract goes, it's medieval fantasy that we shouldn't like. Like, like uh, that's what we're told. But I think we could I, honestly a phone call or not one and just breaking the rule. No one's going to sue us for anything. That's, what if we got really into fantasy British Premier League soccer? <laughs> <sighs> I will tell you this for sure. The most important thing to solve 
is personnel. Like, like, like. Yeah. It, it, we could we could engineer the game if we wanted, where there was a guest player, but they would be designed to be always pocketed. But it's like we got to make sure like people are reasonably right. always coming. Yeah, because when we first started, the very beginnings of D and D, it was you and I doing these little you know bite sized things where we could you and I could remember what you and I did. It was kind of like a two man little thing. That's what those were the golden. Yeah, I think we could yeah maybe expand on that slowly modularly. You can't role play for fifteen minutes and with six people when four of them are like, I have a purple mohawk and have never seen this show. What does the what do these words mean? Like, and I'm like, well, I know everything that's going on, and it was in a blackout last time we played. Yeah. I think <laughs> it's sad for me because I really like I never got to really learn much about my character. I really like designing Eve Liberty team, but I never got to do anything. Like, it's like <laughs> not because like it was anybody else's fault. Like, I just we just never I never knew what the fuck we were doing. I learned I a lot knew. about Norway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only yeah, gonna- I did research. I think. <laughs> Hortigard was a rich tapestry. Uh, also, I think uh, the, the few times uh, Curtis played Doctor Friend, we, he just he had no idea what was going on, so he made hard, fast decisions that were like that, that were beautifully etched in marble. Like that was really good. But he was also like tonally, he was like, "Look, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I feel agony." agony! Like, uh, he approached it like a, like an actor. Anyways, speaking of actors, let's uh, let's make sure that Colin. Uh, Colin, have you ever done uh, role playing games before? Have you ever done like a D and D? Yeah, thing? I played D and D before. Oh, yeah, yeah, like like heavily or just a bit? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't really taken seriously. That's um, how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, how much have we broken your heart over the years about? N- <laughs> it's not about, my, about not doing you any service at it's all. It's not my heart so much as my spirit. <laughs> You know, it's like my heart's great. It's always, always doing fine. <laughs> that thread in the su- that, that subreddit that I did click on because someone was like, D- "Do we just come here to complain?" I was like reading through it and going, "God damn, fuck these people, fuck, fuck everything." And then there was a guy that said something like, "Like, well, you know, part of it is because they're just arguing with each other. Well, it's okay to hate on the podcast because Dan doesn't come anywhere. Spencer's the new Dan. He comes in every time someone says something bad, and there was two people <laughs> arguing. And then it was like Spencer doesn't come in just to police people saying bad things. Spencer comes in to the blah blah blah. And there was a guy like I think Spencer this. And then there was like a Spencer comment. I was like, why don't you just say you don't like me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And it was like exactly what I was thinking. Spencer, at the time. I was, I was Spencer, like, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Vice comp trolling, right yeah. there. <laughs> but it was exactly what I was. I would have typed like uh, I was. I was. It's like, yeah. What are you taught? It's like, but it's, the, the thing is, is there some disconnect? Like, it's not generational. Spencer's one of these fucking clones. Um, <laughs> like, oh, Dan, he's right next. Oh, to did you. I find out what makes you feel something? <laughs> um, it's. It, 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 it's like, it, what is there something we're not getting about the internet that only the people that were here before the internet understand, which is that when in doubt, fall back on what would make you a dick if you were talking to the person face yeah, to that's face. The thing. How is that not just the uh, uh, unspoken rule? If somebody on Twitter is just like, like I went to I I just like I went to Amy Schumer's uh uh Twitter feed because I was like she's got to have this so worse than anybody like 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 and I was like I I I I, I like her I got I got morbidly curious like I got to just like look I'm going to take a fucking crack open the covenant arc and like just uh like like and I went to her feed and she the latest thing she had posted was like a photo of her on stage, it was taken from a low angle because it was taken from somebody in the front row, I think. And uh, so she captioned it, uh, keeping my chins up for charity, like <laughs> self-deprecating. First response, uh, just someone saying, fat. <laughs> so she can't respond to that. She can't go, hey, fuck nut. <laughs> You're shooting me through a hole. I shot through. That's why I'm famous. Like, fuck you! Fuck you! You piece of shit! Why are you trying so hard to hurt me? I've already fucking been vetted. I already know how to hurt myself. How can you do this? Like, why are you trying to hurt people? 
And and if she said that, then not only would there be a bunch of people like lining up to go, let me take a swipe at this. <laughs> Harmon, you're fat. I mean, Schumer, you're... <laughs> I'm telling a story about Amy Schumer. Uh, not only you, it's like, it's like those people aren't going to say that. It's the worst. The worst part of the fucking parfait is like people are going like like uh, uh, if she were as dumb as me and bothered to respond to that shit, there would there there would be people not equating myself with Amy Schumer. By the way, I'm I, I'm personalizing the story because only I'm subconsciously the 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 the, the it's like 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 this, the people that would go like like. Uh, Amy, I love you. You need to get away from the keyboard. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> fuck you! Why? I, I don't make more money the more Twitter followers I have. I'm not a senator. I didn't get elected. I'm not here because I represent anything. You can't fire me. Fuck you. I'm a horrible person like you. I'm filled with venom. If I bite you, you will die. You will die a thousand permadeaths. You will explode in a green fucking explosion. You will become a monument to not fucking with me. Just as the same. It would never happen at a fucking party because you wouldn't be allowed in because you're 15. Why are you fucking talking to me like this? Why are you talking to strangers like this? You need to be spanked. And I have shit in me that needs to be out of me and better you than them. Stop fucking regarding people who happen to have more of whatever number of whatever thing you've decided to measure success by as being so high above you that they are supposed to be accountable to different rules and start realizing that you're so fucking important that you can be Amy Schumer and you should be polite to her! As polite as you would be to her if you were her actual fucking friend! Because you know you would do nothing but kiss her ass! You would never, you would listen to her fucking self deprecating fat jokes and go, like, sweetie, you're not fat! I, I think you're wonderful. I, I, don't, I don't care. Let's go eat some cake. You would never go, fat. I hate the world. I hate it. I hate it all. I hate it. But anyways, Colin, did you... <laughs> Cliffhanger! Thank you for coming to Harvard Town, everybody. Holy smokes. Colin Buckingham, everybody. Colin Buckingham. Thank you, brother. If you're writing something and it gets produced, tell the casting director and the studio and the network and you yeah, achieve Is this height neutral? We need standardized language. We need to keep progressing. Demarge Brown, everybody. Demarge, don't, don't cast him. Don't cast Demarge. Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Thank Zach McKeever, Dustin Marshall, Chris Barff, everybody back there, everybody here at Meltdown. Your mayor, Dan Schumer, everybody. Dan Sch- I mean, Harmon! Drive fast, take chances. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.